name is Deborah and I've been involved in this project uh, for a couple of years now, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and I think I was drawn by the challenge of working with such a um, terrible thing. But at the same time, it felt it was interesting to, um, to actually work on it. Especially, I guess, because my work as a theatre facilitator, I'm, I work a lot with refugees and asylum seekers. And so, <clears throat> I guess, I, I've always been very aware of um, what discrimination and prejudice, um, what kind of effect they have, especially with the people that I work with. And so, I guess, it, I always had a very double feeling about it. I really wanted to do the piece, but at the same time, I really didn't want to do it because it's such, a, it's such an important thing that also opened up a question of legitimacy of who I am to talk about these things. But the framework of the 10 stages of genocide is extremely interesting and it's credibly very interesting. So, um, I've been working with Nina and other collaborators for like the first year and a half and then with this amazing team of women for the past year and it's been a very, very important, um, very important project for me professionally and also yeah, on a personal level and I think it's an interesting project that explores how do we react to what we are exposed to, especially for us that we are all witness, what do we react to and how we can um, filter through all the information that we receive and are we able to detect a hate speech when we listen to it and especially, um, especially from politicians and from people around us. So I think that was for me what was interesting about the project. And is, is there any particular reason why you think this is a good piece to show audiences that are not like traditional theatre audiences? Yes, I think the, the piece has a very strong participatory um, element. So the, um, the audience is involved all the time in the development of the show. And, and so I guess it's not obscure. It's like it's not such a, it's not an obscure piece of theatre that you just sit back and look at, but it's really exper experiential and you have to work with it. And so I guess um, what will provide non-theatre audience is with a space of, a kind of a playful space of reflection that gets a bit darker in the, in the piece, but is still it's still playful and it offers an opportunity to kind of reflect over our own pattern of receiving information and receiving orders and receiving, um, perceiving what is responsibility, what is my role in society and what responsibility, what responsibility I have. So I think it can engage anyone really in this level.